Four chefs entered the day with aspirations of walking away with $10,000 in the title of Chopped Champion. We had impressive dishes from our contestants thus far, with the stupendous acetaminophen from Chef Gene in the anti-inflammatory round, and a fantastic citrusine in the antihistamine round from Chef Pat. Now we enter the granddaddy of them all, the anti-cancer round. For those of you who are just joining us, Chef Gene is a renowned process engineer working for Cell Gene Pharmacy Network and the lead engineer behind the revolutionary process for the drug Revlimid, otherwise known as letalidomide. Letalidomide has done over $7.6 billion in sales in 2019 alone. And gosh, that's a lot of dough. Chef Pat is an up-and-coming process engineer working for GlaxoSmithKline and works primarily in research and development. During his time at GSK, he focused primarily on developing consumer products that you all know and love, such as Aquafresh toothpaste and Flonase. It's an interesting face-off we have here today, but before we go any further, let us get a quick word from our judges. Charlie, Judge Christie, say hello to the viewers at home. <laughs> Gotta love them. Check out those basket ingredients. Basket ingredients are cerebron and multiple myeloma. Judges, how do you feel about these basket ingredients? Uh, cer cerebron functions as a receptor protein for the CRL4A ring domain E3 ubiquitin ligase. It is a direct protein target for lenalidomide. Ring E3 complexes have a zinc binding domain and mediate direct transfer of ubiquitin to the substrate, functioning as a scaffold to orient the ubiquitin with respect to the substrate protein. Ubiquitin acts as a tag that signals protein transport machinery to transport the protein to the proteasome for degradation. The ubiquitin is covalently attached to the C-terminus to the amino group of lysines or to the N-terminus of the proteins with formation of the isopeptide bond of the cerebellon. Cerebellon significantly degrades kinase, casein kinase 1A1 with Icaros and azelos. Ubiquitination for cerebellum is post-translational modification of proteins that is required for many cellular processes, including protein degradation by the proteasome, cell cycle progression, transcriptional regulation, and DNA repair and signal transduction. Multiple myeloma is a cancer that forms in a type of white blood cell called a plasma cell. Multiple myeloma causes cancer cells to accumulate in the bone marrow where they crowd out healthy blood cells. Rather than produce helpful antibodies, the cancer cells produce abnormal proteins that can cause complications. The US FDA has approved lenalidomide for the treatment of multiple myeloma, MDS, and mantle cell lymphoma. Of its approved treatments, lenalidomide is predominantly used for the treatment of multiple myeloma, but usually it's prescribed after stem cell treatment and is used in, conjun in conjunction with dexamethasone. The therapeutic mechanism of lenalidomide includes a simulation of erythropoiesis, immunomodulatory effects, and antinoplastics effects, including increased number and activity of T-cells, natural killer, and natural killer T-cells. I you judges, but with Gene's background, I think Chef Pat is cooked like an overdone Thanksgiving turkey. Here's what we're dealing with, chefs. It's a little more difficult than throwing it in the oven for 40 minutes at 350, if you know what I'm saying. This is an image of the overall structure of CRL4CRBN E3 ubiquitin ligase complex. There are two binding pockets on the molecule. Each binding pocket is equipped to bind with one lenalidomide ligand. The binding pockets can be seen on the right and the left side of the ligand complex. A closer look at the binding pocket shows lenalidomide is magenta, tryptophan in blue, and histidine in green, asparagine in yellow, and glutamine in orange. Proline is also shown in white. Notice that there's also a zinc molecule below with four cysteine residues. So let's see what our chefs are cooking up for us today. Chef Jean, what are you preparing? Oh, hi, Ted. Today we'll be cooking up lenalidomide. I'm util utilizing Cerebon as the drug's target, and together they'll, they'll work to treat multiple my myeloma. It's getting hot in here. I mean, if you can't handle the heat, you gotta get out of the kitchen, am I right? <laughs> nice. Let's see what Chef Pat is up to. I think he's making thalidomide, or bortezomin, which are both good options to treat the... What's going on here, Chef? I was gonna make bortezomid, but to be kind of original, but I burned the binding pocket. So now I need to come up with a second plan, and I think I'm gonna go with lenalidomide as well, but kind of take my own spin. I'm gonna make the R confirmation, and maybe like a side of honey glazed carrots, but uh, looking more like grilled onions right now. A direct face off. Let's see who's gonna take home the championship. So you both created similar dishes. Can you explain how you use the basket ingredients to... 
Alright judges, so today I prepared for you lenalidomide. So the synthesis of lenalidomide starts with two reactants, alpha aminoglutaramide hydrochloride and methyl 2 bromomethyl 3 nitrobenzoate. The synthesis of lenalidomide occur occurs through a four step process. The first step is a coupling the two starting compounds. Following the coupling, the resulting compound is reduced to a crude version of lenalidomide and a recrystallization to create a pre-micronized lenalidomide. Finally, the recrystallized substance is micronized to form the final lenalidomide project. <laughs> wow, I love how you use histidine to effectively hydrogen bond with the E3 ring ligase. Additionally, you really complemented the hydrophobic pocket. It really accentuated the ability to taste the phenylalanine and tryptophan, which comprised a section of the binding pocket that was in your basket. Mm-hmm, <laughs> that's gonna be tough to beat. Pat, what have you prepared for us today? Judges, today I've prepared for you something very similar, the R confirmation of lenalidomide, as well as a side of grilled onions to complement the stereochemistry. This is an interesting strategy, though. I'm not sure if it's something that I would do. We have some trouble, we might have some trouble here. The R conformation binds differently to the drug than the S conformation does as seen here. This makes the drug much more ineffective because the geometry of the binding pocket does not allow for the R conformation to have the same hydrogen bonding and hydrophobic interactions. See, Chef, these are the little things that separate champions from chumps. I really prefer Chef Gene's S conformation to the Chef Pat's R conformation. I agree. The S conformation really binds well, which shows a great amount of skill to utilize the hydrophobic van der Waals interactions in the binding pocket. Definitely. The S conformation uses more hydrogen bonding interactions, which stabilizes the lingon in the binding, binding pocket. I'm confused about the efficacy of Chef Pat's R conformation and its ability to be an effective treatment. There are probably a lot of better alternatives out there. So how do you think you did? You know, I think I did all right. Uh, those onions, hard to beat though. It's just how the cookie crumbles next time. Yes. The judges have made the decision and they're winner of the $10,000 grand prize and the title of CHOP Champion is... Have you been diagnosed with multiple myeloma? At Cell Gene Pharmacy Network, we have developed Revlimid, an effective drug to fight multiple myeloma. We care about you and your well-being and want to help you get back in control of your life. Consult your doctor today to see if Revlimid is right for you. Side effects may include, but are not limited to, blood clowns, diarrhea, itching, rash, fatigue, and tiredness. Do not consume this medication if you're pregnant or may become pregnant due to potential birth defects. Revlimid, for a better tomorrow. Chef Pat, you've been chopped. Chef Pat, we oh. really liked your onions, but the rest of your dish, for lack of a better word, was... Congratulations, Chef Gino. Yeah. You better believe yes. you are the winner. <laughs> What are you gonna do with your $10,000? I'm gonna pay off my health bills now, because lenalidomide's expensive. <laughs>